Hello, welcome to this class. If you've been following this course, you will know that in the formal classes, we, we made use of Visual Studio 2017. But in this particular class, we'll be making use of um, Visual Studio for more. The reason is because in the introduction, we mentioned that we'll be jumping between Visual Studio 17 and Visual Studio for Mark, but I really want to assure you that they are exactly the same thing, all right? You don't need to worry, everything still remains the same. If you have been using Visual Studio 2017 and you've been following this particular course, just go ahead and continue. Nothing has changed, it's the same principles. If there is an error in Visual Studio, it will still error in Visual Studio for Mark. So that probably the same thing, it's just that the other the Visual Studio 2017 runs on Windows and Visual Studio for Mark runs on Mark, but it's exactly the same thing. All right. So in this class, we're actually going to be looking at how to request for special runtime permissions. All right. For us to be able to assess our device location, we actually need to request for runtime permissions, which is exactly the kind of things that we see here, right? It is very, very necessary if you're targeting Android platforms that is above um, version 23, right? So guys, in this class, let's look at how to request for runtime permissions, okay? So let's just dive into it without delay. Okay, so to request for runtime permissions, we need to go to our main activity. So the first thing to do is to declare an array of the permissions that we want to request, all right? So to do so, we are going to create a string array. But this array, we are going to make it read-only. So we say read-only string array. We'll call this permission group location, all right? So this is going to be equal to the array of manifest. Okay, so let's resolve this. So we're going to say manifest dot permission dot access course location, All right? So this is the first one. So we need to access find location as well, All right? find location so now the next thing to do is to define our request ID so this is going to be a constant integer call this request location ID all right equal to zero so I'm going to create a new method to check the permissions all right so when when the user you know opens the app I want to first of all check if he has um, the permission to access a course and find location all right so to do that we're going to define a method and say void we're going to say check location permissions so instead of making this a method an ordinary method so i'm going to make it in such a way that it will return a boolean value okay so i'm going to say bool permission granted equal to false all right so i'm going to say if activity if activity compact dot check self permission this manifest dot permission dot access find location not granted is not granted and activity activity compact dot check self permission so I need to pass it a contest I said this and manifest dot permission dot access course location is not equal to Android permission dot granted All right so what we're doing here is we are checking if both permissions are granted if one of them is not granted that means that the permission granted is false that means that permission has not been granted yet so in this case 
permission granted will be false and else permission granted will be true all right and we'll return permission granted okay so when the permission has not been granted we need to request we need to request for permissions right so to do that what we need to do is to say request requests permissions bracket permission group locations that the the array of the permissions that we want to request we define that as a read-only string earlier on if you guys remember this is it so this is the array of the permissions that we want to request so let's go back to method so we pass this to this particular method and we use our request id request location id that's all we need to do but now when we request for the permission and if the permission is granted we need to do something and if the permission is denied we also need to do something so to do that we need to override on request permission result we're gonna say override on request permission result we're gonna say if granted result is equal to cast this as int android.content permission done granted so we're going to check if the permission was granted all right so if permission were granted we want to display a toast so we're going to say toast don't make test this is actually to show us what's going on all right so that we will be able to know how all this thing works all right so if the permission was denied I want to say permission was denied okay permissions was denied all right so let's go to our uncreate method and so we're gonna say check location permission all right so let's see if everything is in order let's see if everything is going to work out just the way we we wrote it in code So it seems everything works out well. So we can see this small dialog here that said allow user rider to access this device's location. All right. So we can go ahead and allow or deny. So let's deny. Permission was denied, right? So you can see that the or re, or request permission resort is actually working. The override that we did. So let's re, relaunch the app and accept the permission this time. Let's see what's going to happen. okay so we hit allow permission was granted so let's stop the app again let's relaunch it so as you can see we didn't see the pop-up we didn't see the dialog buzz that access to you know give access for the app to access the device location what this means is that it only asks you to give permission to the app once provided that the app is still installed all right but if we uninstall the app from our device then we'll probably the next time we install it we probably need to probably need to give access you know for the app to accept the permissions again all right so guys this is how simple it is in the next class we're gonna jump right into getting uh, our current location okay so guys see you in the next class